I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for nine years. So I'm gonna share the eight no cook proteins that I can't live without from Walmart. Are you ready, cutie? Here's number one. Wind it up and send it at ya. <laughs> the GV Greek yogurt smoothie bars. Caramel flavor. I love these. They're 100 cals a bar and five grams of protein. They taste like a fudgesicle. And why I love them is because I always get cravings for like ice cream bars, fudgesicles, and these bars have like binks or ribbons of caramel through them. So it actually tastes like I'm eating a dessert. So it satisfies my sweet tooth, plus, plus, plus the protein helps me feel fuller longer. And so it's like, it does double duty. So I always have those hanging around at the house because they're a great sweet snack and treat. Number two, the Our Finest 0% Plain Greek Yogurt. Three quarters of a cup is 100 cals and 17 grams of protein. This is why I always pick Greek yogurt over regular because it has more protein. Plus I pick the plain and the fat free because the flavored with fat can have more cows in it. So I just use the plain and I flavor it myself. I love Greek yogurt. If you're gonna have one thing in your house on your weight loss journey, like this is a staple because it's so versatile. I literally, I use it in baking in place of some of the oil and butter to like lower cows and bump up the protein. I make Greek yogurt bowls. I make like parfaits out of it. I love mixing protein powder with Greek yogurt to make like a low cal high protein fruit dip. This one is one of my faves to add to it. It's the HTLT Subs Maple Cookie Protein Powder. This makes the Greek yogurt taste so good and it makes a really good low cal high protein fruit dip. And I love dipping all kinds of fruit in it. Satisfies my sweet tooth. Plus it's a really filling low cal high volume snack. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below for the protein powder. Number three, the 0% Fair Life Milk. One cup is 80 cals and 14 grams of protein. I love cereal and this is a perfect way to take cereal like Cheerios, very berry if you wanna know the flavor and bump up the protein. Because like cereal doesn't always keep you full, but when you add protein milk to it, that bumps up the protein so you can feel fuller longer. Also, I add it to everything like protein pancakes, anything calling for milk, but the protein milk has more protein than regular milk. So it's again, satisfying whatever craving I'm having that requires milk, but also bumping up the protein. I'm making this video because I learned this about myself on my weight loss journey. I love food, but I don't like cooking and I don't like doing long meal preps. I also love getting results, but I don't like doing a lot of work to get them. I also have a really big appetite and I'm always hungry and it's normal to be hungry when you're eating in a calorie deficit. So protein helps lower your hunger hormone called ghrelin, which helps you feel fuller longer. That's why protein is so important. And I eat it at every single meal, snack, dessert. I make sure I have protein because it helps me feel full. But the no cook proteins are really important because it eliminates excuses. If I'm hungry, I can use any of the things that I'm sharing with you to whip up a real quick meal or snack and I won't go off track because there's no excuse. I literally just pull it from the fridge, throw together a really tasty, versatile meal, satisfy whatever cravings and my hunger, and I can move on instead of, I'm hungry, I don't have anything with protein or quick, and then I go off track. Also, I need to love my food, and these things are super versatile, so I can literally make them into whatever I want, and it satisfies my cravings. I'm not sponsored by Walmart, but I am on a budget, so Walmart's like, most people have a Walmart nearby and can access, you know, something like these things if they're wanting to try them. Plus I'm just a real person on a budget. So Walmart has budget friendly stuff that I can go grab that has protein and quick cook, no cook options. Number four, the GV light cheese slices. They're 35 cows a slice and four grams of protein. I love like cheeseburgers, grilled cheese, 
but a lot of that stuff can be really high in calories. I love that these have four grams of protein per slice. So I can have still a cheeseburger, but I use the low cal cheese slice, tons of protein, add some turkey, make it into a burger. I still get my cheeseburger. I still eat low cal grilled cheese, but I use the pro the protein cheese slices. There's four grams of protein. Easy. Grab some rice cakes or some whole grain crackers, throw the cheese slice on it. It's such a quick, easy snack, and the protein is gonna help me feel full. Bridge the gaps in between meals. Grab a cheese slice, grab a turkey pepperoni. You already got a grab and go snack. Number five, 1% cottage cheese, the GV, half a cup, 90 cals, and 13 grams of protein for the serving. I love cottage cheese. I have been having it every night with peanut butter and cocoa powder and sweetener for years. The peanut butter combined with the cottage cheese really helps me feel full. And then the, a teaspoon of the cocoa powder and a teaspoon of the sweetener make it taste like a dessert and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Cottage cheese is a slow digesting protein because it has casein protein in it. I eat it at night because if I go to bed with a hungry belly, I won't sleep and I'll wake up with a ton of cravings and I'll end up eating stuff I don't want. So having a filling snack like that, that has slow digesting protein, allows me to sleep, get a great sleep, and then make proper decisions around food when I wake up the next day. And it really helps like, um, it also helps keep your muscles like, anabolic instead of catabolic where like your body's hungry so it's like feeding off your muscles this feeds your muscles instead number six i love these these are the gv cooked meat strips let's call them so the one is the oven roasted season like chicken strips i also like the sirloin like beef strips they're called um beef sirloin strips so the chicken the chicken ones for 100 grams it's 120 cows and 24 grams of protein. The beef strips, the whole package is 300 calories, but it's 42 grams of protein. Sassy and I usually get one of those and split it. And like you can put in anything, salad, you can make these into sandwiches, um, wraps, like we, we literally can put them on your pizza. Like we make low-cal pizza all the time. Those are so good. Or you can literally just like put them in a container and eat them on the go. Like you can microwave them or not. That's such a great thing to have on hand, especially if you're like a really busy person or you just don't like cooking like Sass and I. Easy protein that you can do anything with. Number seven, San Daniele Mortadella, the light one. Four slices is 100 cows and nine grams of protein. And these are like really big slices. I'm Italian and I have been eating mortadella sandwiches since like I was four years old. Um, toasted mortadella sandwich, that's always been my thing. When I started losing weight, I didn't wanna give up the mortadella. So when I found the light slices, you get a ton of mortadella for 100 calories and it's got good protein in it. I put them on like a low-cal hamburger bun to make like a really great low-cal sandwich. Um, you can also just roll them up and eat them. They're a really great tasty protein, allows me to love what I'm eating, get a really great grab and go protein I can throw. Actually, sometimes we put it on our low-cal pizza too, but it makes a really great like quick sandwich for lunch. We love that with veg and dip. Number eight, Brant Turkey Kielbasa. 55 grams is 60 cals and nine grams of protein. I love kielbasa. You can get like the like extra lean too, but the turkey one has like the lowest cals. I love this because all you do is you cut off your little piece, you peel the skin off and you can eat it with cheese and crackers. You can um, put it in like um, a charcuterie board, can make it into a wrap, a sandwich, put it on a salad. It is again, so easy. It's really great cows and really great protein and it's tasty. And that's the whole key to what I learned. I need protein, I need it to taste good and I need to be able to grab it. Cause when I'm hungry, I'm hungry and I can't, you know, bink around and like go, oh, I'll just take an hour to make a meal. No, I need something now and I need it to taste good and be quick because otherwise I'm not gonna stay on track. I lost my weight with portion control. If you guys wanna know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link's down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. Also, I have a brand new everything bundle because I have four weight loss ebooks. If you buy all of them, like in the everything bundle, you save money 
for buying all four at once, plus use code Nicole and you'll save 10% off the cheaper price. That's a double savings. Um, the link's down below for that as well. Weight loss should never be a punishment. You also don't have to do a lot of work to get the results. It's about loving what you're eating, eating a calorie deficit, eating a lot of protein so you feel full, and having tasty grab and go options so that you eliminate excuses in a fun way that you're gonna wanna stick to. Because there's there should be no motivation. You should just love it and it should be easy. If you need motivation, it probably means you don't like what you're doing. So I love these foods and having them on hand has really helped make my life super easy and make you feel like I'm not dieting. And that's why I've been able to get the weight off and keep it off as long as I have because I set myself up for success all the time by having things like this around. So remember, you gotta love it. If you don't love it, chuck it out the window and do something you like because life's too short to not like stuff and you're never gonna stick to it if every day you're like, Oh, I don't like this. But if you've got more to tell and you're like, yeah, make a sandwich, have it. Oh, yeah, this is great. That's what you want to do. <laughs> All right, the friends, I love you. Don't forget to watch this bit and this bit for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips because Sass and I are real friends who are losing weight in the real world. We shop at Walmart, we eat more Dudella and um, cheese slices, and that's what we do. And that's why we do this forever, because we love it. So, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate your love and support. And I can't wait to catch you in the next big cutie! Oh, not too much of that. platform <laughs> Sorry about that. You're gonna have to edit that out. Sorry guys, I got a little carried away there. A little spicy. A little, a little bit spicy. Don't worry about that. I'll see ya. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it.